Component Disassembly and Assembly Cylinder Head Disassembly and Assembly The commonly used tools needed are Sleeve Tool, Torque Wrench, Suction Rod The specialized tools required include Valve Spring Compression Tool The required accessories include Abrasive Sand Disassembly of Cylinder Head Install the valve disassembler on the cylinder head. Tighten one fixing bolt. Tighten the torque to 46 newton meter. Installing valve spring compressor. Turn the clamping nut clockwise until the valve spring begins to compress. Use a wrench to continue turning the compression nut clockwise until the valve lock can be removed using magnetic tools. Use magnetic tools to remove valve keys. Use a wrench to turn the compression nut counterclockwise until the tension on the valve spring is released. Remove the compression nut and valve spring compressor. Use a socket tool to remove the valve disassembler. Remove the valve spring seat and valve spring. Perform the same operation to disassemble the valve spring components of other cylinders. Side standing cylinder head. After marking the cylinder position on the valve face, remove all valves. Check valve sealing. When spots or other conditions are found at the valve opening, it is necessary to grind the valve. Use appropriate tools to remove all valve oil seals. Cylinder head cleaning and inspection. After the disassembly of the cylinder head is completed, it is necessary to clean and inspect the cylinder head. The specific content includes Clean the lower and side planes of the cylinder head, measure the flatness of each plane, and replace the cylinder head if it exceeds the tolerance. Check for any dents, cracks, or other damages on the surface of the cylinder head. Check if the valve guide clearance is too large, and replace the valve guide if necessary. Check the wear of the valve seat ring, and if necessary, Use a suitable reamer to perform valve gate reaming or replace the valve seat ring, and then grind the valve. When it is necessary to confirm whether the cylinder head is leaking, a pressure test should be conducted on the cylinder head to identify the leakage point. Before assembling the cylinder head, it is necessary to thoroughly clean it with a cleaning agent. Conditional service stations can use specialized cleaning equipment such as ultrasonic equipment for cleaning. Assembly of cylinder head. Clean the cylinder head. Clean the valves, valve springs, valve spring seats, and valve keys. Install valve oil seals for each cylinder. Installing valve. Installing valve springs. Valve spring retainer.
installing valve disassembler, and use holes to fix the disassembly and assembly device to the fuel injector hole. Install the valve spring compressor and compression nut. Turn the clamping nut clockwise until the locking plate can be smoothly inserted. Installing valve keys. Turn the compression nut counterclockwise until the tension on the valve spring is released. After confirming that the locking plate is correctly seated, remove the disassembly tool. Remove the fixing bolts and take out the disassembler. Gently tap to ensure that the valve is installed in place. Valve sealing test. After all valves are installed, conduct a sealing test. Place the cylinder head with the exhaust port facing upwards. Inject fuel into the exhaust port until fully filled. Timing 30 seconds. Check if there is fuel dripping out or flowing down the surface of the cylinder head from the exhaust valve. If a drop of fuel drips out or flows down the surface of the cylinder head within 30 seconds, this indicates poor sealing of the exhaust valve and the valve seat need to grind the valve. If there is no fuel flowing out of the gas door within 30 seconds, the valve sealing is good. Inject fuel into the intake port until fully filled. Timing 30 seconds. Check for fuel leaks around the valve area. Measurement of cylinder head plane. Measure the flatness of two diagonals separately. Measure the flatness in the middle. Measurements must be taken at multiple locations from the front to the rear of the cylinder head. Note that the maximum value is 0.15 mm. If there is pitting, grooves, or non-compliance with technical specifications in the cylinder head, it is necessary to replace the cylinder head.